The daring acrobatics of a triple somersault unite strong agility with courage and grace. Flawless execution of difficult dives calls for rare ability, endless practice, and fine coordination. You've just seen the tops in solo dives, and now double diving, combining the synchronized aquatic artistry of two champions in split-second perfection. Every move of one diver is duplicated by the other with mirror-like exactness. In fact, you'll notice when these two lads are around a pool, they do most everything in unison. From left to right, Harold Dutch Smith, Olympic champ of 32, and Fareed Sameka, Egypt's number one diver. And here, well, I just had him around to give the boys some inspiration. You know how it is. These fellows have worked on this double diving idea for years. In fact, they originated it. The last word in grace and athletic precision. A simultaneous entry. And beautiful. And I do mean beautiful. The slow motion camera catches a couple of running half gainers that look like they were executed by one man. Stretching out with powerful grace, the hands now come into position to break the water for the entry. Perfect dives by two of the world's finest divers. As you watch these guys, you think you're seeing one man twice. Anyway, he thinks he's seeing double. Yes, sir, he finds it rather confusing. Huh? Say, what goes on here anyway? Now he's sure he's seeing double. But then no one ever got blind looking at twin images like these. He's now worried he'll see twin pink elephants next. Oh, well. Here, here, quieten down there now, will you, fella? And now a windmill combination. Here each one simultaneously executes a different dive, forming beautiful patterns of movement. Smith in the front jackknife, Semeca in a pike half gainer. Finishing together on the split second. One of the remarkable features about their work is that no matter what they do in the air, the boys always enter the water together. Come on, Sameka, you're way behind. You'll never catch up. Oh, no, a Sameka is never late. Jeepers, now look where they are, a 33-foot plunge. And at this height, they smack the water at 45 miles an hour. Slow motion photographically retards their speed and enhances the beauty of the perfectly executed swan dive. In any language, these boys spell tops in diving. And while these gals can't spell, there's nothing wrong with their figures. Quiet. From the diver's angle, it looks like that water is miles down. A back one and a half straight. Fareed entered the water a half second ahead of Dutch. Terrible. Imagine being a half second ahead. Well, we'll try it again and see it from this angle. Go. Come on now, together. Good, a nice double entry. I sound like a bookkeeper. What's up, kids? Uh-oh, it looks like he's going to do a standing, sitting, falling, one and a half double twist crash. Yes, it's a long, long way down there, mister. Well, go ahead, test it. Eh, who wants to be a diver, anyway? Well, the gals are laughing. Hmm, at 11 bucks a day with meals, board, swimming pool, and sunshine, who wouldn't laugh? From this height, there's 820 pounds of resistance force when they enter the water perfectly. Should one of them miss and land on his back, the resistance force becomes 12,500 pounds, or six and a quarter tons. <laughs> Pleasant thought. Great athletic precision and power make difficult dives seem easy. And now against sun-kissed California clouds, a daring two and a half somersault pike. Hmm, what diving! A worm's eye view of a pair of full gainers. 
dropping down through endless space, or so it seems. Something special the boys just whipped up, a relay dive. One man somersaults after the other in a follow the leader effect. I get it, that man's up there again. He claims he can't stand looking down from heights. He says he's a kleptomaniac. And who am I to correct him? What do you see, pal? Dear, dear, you are seeing things, fella. Woe is me. Well, now for a new thrill. The lads are going to try a double dive blindfolded, a running forward two and a half, and from the 33-foot platform. A split-second miscalculation, and, uh, well, remember what I said about that six and a half ton resistance force. Although the boys never tried this before, they insisted that their sense of timing would make it possible. So, with the fond hope that they know what they're doing, we turn the cameras on them. Go! In unison, a two and a half, blindfolded. Whew, is that a hunk of thing? And so endeth a day of double diving came the night, and with the dawn, we still find our boyfriend where we left him. There. Now then, nothing freshened you up like a nice morning dunk in the pool. Goodness, they've emptied the pool during the night. Help, stop! Oh! Fancy that. And so, with the final gesture of friendship, we reluctantly bid goodbye to the simple natives of this strange land and sail away into the sunset.